what is going on YouTube and welcome back to my channel. So we are still in Saudi and yes, it is fight week, but today we have something a little bit different because it is the weigh-in and the face-to-face. -face. So we're gonna head down to the venue, check it out, so stay tuned and get involved. Let's go. Right, so here we are moments away from the press conference and the face-off with Tommy Fury and Jake Paul. It's gonna be electric. It's gonna be fireworks and I know some things are gonna get said, some things that people can't come back from. But what is in store? I mean, I'm excited for this whole situation because I know it's gonna be unreal. We've got Mike Tyson in the building, Tommy's in the building, Jake's in the building. Everyone's here. All the fighters on the undercard. It's gonna be sensational. Let's go. The main event, Sunday, February 26th, in Dir'iyya. The talk is over. It's time for the truth. We don't do pressure of any description. We're here to fight, you know, he's, he's been around on the big stage most of his life. You know, I think when he first started out, he was meant to do big stuff just for who he is, being Tyson Fury's brother, you know, He's been under pressure right from the off, but this kid survives on pressure. And believe me, I wouldn't have my son sat here if I didn't think he could deliver. Because there's no way in this entire world my son would disgrace our great champion in Tyson Fury. I mean, I think people's got it twisted. I'm in boxing and having goals of being a world champion. So if I am to do that, I can't be dodging people like Jake Paul. Believe you me, the past two fights didn't happen because of it being out of my hands completely. The first fight, broke rib. Doctors advised me not to fight. What do you want me to do? Second fight, went to the airport with my full team, ready to go, denied access into the USA. Still ongoing. Third time's a charm, and we're here, and I'm in super fit condition. I'm ready to go and put this all to bed because for the past two and a half years, all it's been is, when are you fighting Jake Paul? Da 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 da. To even mention my name in the same sentence as that, it's disrespectful to me, who's been boxing my whole life. And I'm gonna clinically knock this guy out early. Look, like I said, he's a good boxer. I, I give him that credit. He's fast, he's got length, he's strong. He got them inflatable arms. He, I don't even know how his arms look like that. Um, he don't got no <laughs> legs, like he's top heavy as He looked like the Michelin man or something, but uh, there's nothing he can do to stop me. He doesn't have power. What is the truth? Is Jake Paul going to beat Tommy Fury? Is Tommy Fury going to beat Jake Paul? We don't know. We have to wait until Sunday. You know, on Sunday night, you've got a fresh, young, 23-year-old, proper, legitimate fighter who would have it inside and outside the ring. I'm not for lights, camera, action. I, this is in my heart, blood and soul, and you're going to feel that. Let me tell you now, I'm not a 50 year old man and when you're in the opposite corner and you're getting hit all about the head, the blue flashes, you're going to wake up and realise what boxing is. It's not to fight old men. You've got a proper, proper fighter in here and he's coming to take your head off. I think we make a deal. If you win, I'll pay you double what I'm paying you already. But if I win, I take everything that I'm paying you. Delicious. Del deal or no deal. So since you're so confident, deal or no deal, since you're so confident. Take it. Deal or no deal. Take it. Take it. Deal or no deal. I want to shake on it. Are you going to stand up like you want to do something? Sit back down. I just want to shake Sit your head. Sit back down. Sit back down. Let me tell you now, and this is the last thing I'm going to say, because I'm not in this game to talk, and let me fist do the talking. On Sunday night, when I put this man away in a mismatch, it's going to be onwards and upwards for me. I'm going to take everything he's got, and he's going to be going home to Ohio or wherever he's from. Suck it.
right? I said that before, there's been a lot of things that people can't come back from. That was electric. I mean, Tyson Fury turned up. Like, who, who knew he was going to be here? But Tyson's here to support his brother. John has full faith in Tommy, like I do, to secure that win on Sunday, 26th. I mean, I'm, I'm like, I'm nervous. I'm excited, but I'm nervous. He doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't want it. So now, now, it's just go in, yeah. do the job, yeah. smoke him, yeah. end his career. Yeah. Yeah. That's the plan. And double your purse. Yes. Double your purse. <laughs> no, he's, he's, he's literally just giving you double your money. But he's giving me everything I want. I've come to Saudi Arabia, paid vacation, and I'm off. Well, you're actually getting a double payday. Double so. payday. What about the rematch? That's got to be double test. I'll believe you. Double, double. I, I, I wish you wanted the rematch but after I'm finished with him. He's never going to want to step in the room with me ever again. Yeah, I don't think he'll activate that rematch clause. No, definitely not. No, definitely. he's going he's gonna to feel that on his chin and just oh, be like, bro. I don't want it. There's no way. There's no way. When I catch him, bang, knuckles over. Oh, it's, it's over. Flash is going to come in his eyes. Oh, down. And the rest is going to go like that. But shouldn't nah. you like, go easy on him a little bit just so you get the rematch, nope. you get the bag again? Hell no. no. Nah. If you can get him out of there in 10 seconds, I will do. He deserves a beat. Yeah. Deserves he deserves beat. humiliating he deserves and knocking out. He gets a beat down, that's it. He deserves it. Well, you're the man to do it. I'm telling you, I put him in his place. Like I said, everything happens for a reason. You had two escapes out of this fight and he yeah. should have took him. He should have took him. He should have yeah. should have avoided me and just skipped it. I mean, he could have just continued his career fighting God was giving him MMA signs. fighters. Yeah. God was giving him signs and said, please don't fight this man. There's the first one. There's the second one. Oh, do you know what? You want this to be fine. Fight him. Yeah. And now he's got himself in a sticky situation. It's very sticky because he can't, he, can't, he can't do nothing now. He's here. What's he Fights do? a few days away. Listen, I looked into his eyes. Uh, the guy's scared. Scared. I'm yes. telling you. See, you, I know why you threw that little, oh, we'll double the pace. Because mm. he thought you were going to back down from it, but like, no, and then he could, no. he had something, but no. Oh, I'm telling you. Do you know what got me the most, Jim, when I was on there? I threw a little feint like this on that. And he went yeah, like this. and I see this hand come up. And I was like, whoa, you're brand new. You're brand new. <laughs> <laughs> Puppy. Over. Training wheels are off now, though. Mate. Listen, it is what it is, isn't it? But at the end of the day, you can't take it in too much, because his brother's had four fights and lost every single one of them. It's not made a difference to his career, has it? <laughs> the content creators, aren't they? That's what they are. Yeah, you that's know, true. At the end of the day, he's only just started boxing. Whether he loses his fight, you know, it's not going to make a difference. Yeah. He can go back to YouTube, he can go to the WWE, do all these things. Yeah, I mean, it's just it like, really he, this is basically like the star for him, yeah. if he loses. Yeah. So, at the end of the day, he loses, he can just be like, right, he's a professional fighter. Exactly. He can wash his hands of it. Exactly. Like, I was expected to lose. Exactly. But, you just finish him off. Mate, you can't say nothing to that. Yeah. And I, the size of your fists are like triple mine. Like, I don't know what, Bro, I don't know what Gene no came up with, Boom. but my fist looked like some baby fist of yours. <laughs> so I wouldn't uh, want to see that turned over on my cheek. It's going to be good. Too, too pretty to <laughs> have one of those turned over on. <laughs> uh, what came first, the chicken or the egg? Oh, don't even start me with that. I, I, God came first. Okay. There you go. God came first. Yeah? He created the chicken and the egg. <laughs> Stick that in your pipe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the chicken would have had to have come first and then through the theory of evolution, in order to survive, it would have had to reproduce. So, that theory. Do you know the reason, the reason why? It's the protein. Protein? It's the protein, it's in the egg. Protein in the chicken? Yeah. Protein in the chicken? <laughs> yeah. It's the protein in the chicken breast, that's what it is. The protein in the chicken breast. Breast, so that's what's on your mind. Loads of chicken breast, more protein, less fat. Yeah. Chicken thighs, pretty good too. <laughs> bit, more, bit higher in fat though, but they're good. <laughs>
and see who's got what it takes to take home that belt here in Riyadh. Let's go. Yeah. What was it? 185 your tier two? Or 183? Up sound. And he looks phenomenal. Looks sharp as well. So. Look for it now. It's on point. Ready to go now. I just told you you made weight. Easy work. Easy work. Easy work. Oh, Light. 184. Yeah. 184 and a bit. Couple ounces under, innit? <laughs> yeah. Light work. Yeah. Professional. That's going out to everybody who said this weight last uh, time. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's never this weight. Yeah. Feeling fresh? Yeah, feeling good. Easy work. Easy work. No, Sam, just get on scales. Oh, mate, you already know the most is coming. Shoulder, front double bicep. Most muscular. And he, yeah. and, do you know what I knew you was going to do I most muscular because you, lo you love showing the traps? I'm still part of me, the body moves. When you're pulling out your, your double bicep, pop your lats out. So your back, so your back looks wide. Yeah. Pop right out, bang. Straight out. My dear Jay, call the quad stomp. Oh, you can't, no, no, you That's can't, not you can't do that. You can't do that. You can't do no quad not stomp. Yet, not, not yet. yet. But you don't, you don't need that. If, for boxing, you don't need big legs because they're just gonna slow yeah. you down. They'll slow you down. I want to pose down with Michael. You want to pose down with me? No, give me, give me at least, give me at least four months after this fight, put their weight on. Well, okay, that's fine. That's fine. I've already seen some bodybuilding poses. Hit your side chest. Well, I haven't got to. Not that Hit your side chest. Get your hamstring out. I mean, the only ones you're, 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 I'm not comfortable with is like the fucking like yeah. legs. This I don't like this one. That I don't one. Like that one. It's not for me. Yeah, I mean, when you when you when you're posing, you find out what poses best suit your body. I like the double biceps. You like your muscles, 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 yeah. yeah. Side chest, side chest ain't too bad. Yeah, yeah chest, when he does his most muscular, his chops go like. <laughs> It's like they should take off. Shoulders are just like that. I did yeah. what I was supposed to do before I came here after the first meal. Oh. Veins popping. Oh, it's bad. That's bad. The bicep just come out, man. The vein that pops out your bicep. Yeah. Got enough sodium in that. Yeah. That's what you want. Listen, once, he, once, once they have this way in here, and he sees you like that on stage, he's going to shit and shit. What are you, um, how much water do you want today? Uh, at least five litres. How much you add? This is, after this, this drum must have be um, three liters. Okay, so you, okay, so, so you got about two at the minute. Yeah, about two liters. Yeah. yeah. So, how do you want to look on the scales? Yeah. Unbelievable. Probably stop drinking. Stop drinking water. I'm, I'm ready for a big piss as well. Stop drinking water. Make sure you, make sure you, make sure you, make sure you get it in five, today. Make sure you get it in today. But if you want to look good on the I'll scales, off for at least half an hour. yeah, no, no, just. That's, that's what I'd say. If you want to look good, just if, if you need it, sip it. Yeah. Just sip it. Don't, not big mouthfuls, just sips. Yeah. And then once, once you got your picture. Oh. Right, so we are currently here at the weigh-in, waiting for Tommy and Jake Paul to uh, hit the stage. This stage is going to be electric, so make sure you stay tuned and check us out. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the undefeated Tommy TNT Fury! Stepping onto the scales. 184.54, the undefeated Tommy TNT Fury. He is the undefeated Jake, the problem child. So Tommy looks fantastic on the scales. He's absorbed all of the pressure. Do you think that this is gonna translate into the ring? 
Yeah, Tommy's going to knock his back out tomorrow. It's go time. Yeah. What? Give us a prediction on what round you think he's going to get in. I don't know what round, but I know he's going to get knocked back out. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be happy to see it tomorrow. Cannot wait, son. Both of them had a little bit of beef on the stage. Like, Jake, they both looked a bit shaky at one point, but is that real tension going to make the fight go really quick, or do you think it's going to draw out? Nah, we don't know, but somebody's getting knocked out. Somebody's getting knocked out? Yeah, somebody's getting knocked out. You've just seen both the fights on yeah. stage. Yeah. They both look phenomenal. Yeah, there was a bit of tension. Yeah, yeah. They both had a little bit of nerves. I yeah, mean, yeah. that's why there's a little jitters. Yeah, yeah. How do you see the fight going now? Do you know what? The more I see Tommy Fury, the more confident I am. The way he speaks and, and even the way he looks and what I hear from his team, mm. I feel like they're, they're hyper confident. You know, and they, they their confidence stems from the fact that they've seen him day in, day out in the gym. They, they, they know how he carries himself. They know who he's around. They know his experience. I know obviously he hasn't had like a, a massive amateur pedigree or background, but that does count for something. You know what I mean? I always say like, if you play football for your whole life and you kicked around five a side versus somebody who trained really hard for three years, the, the person who played their whole life will be much better, You're right? When it comes down to it. So I'm confident. I, I feel like Tommy's where he's going to do it. I think I don't think he's going to. I don't think anyone's getting knocked out. You don't I think, think anyone's I getting think knocked it's out? It's going to be a uh, points decision victory. For Tom. But both fighters have said they're going out for the knockout yeah. to go in. And Easier from said from the than first bell, it is easier said than yeah. done. But you've seen the power yeah. Jake's got. You've yeah. seen Tommy's power. They've yeah, both yeah. got knockout power. But is that all talk, or are they going to actually clash heads fit from the I, first bell? I, I think if Tommy puts it on him early, mm -hmm. I think he could stop Jake Paul. Uh, I feel like Jake Paul. He, he, he sometimes loads up and waits for that big right hand. And if Tommy gets sloppy, he can get caught with it. And I think that happens at the back end of fights, where maybe you're a little bit more tired. You kind of take your foot off the gas. So. The knockout is possible. Just seeing Tommy step on the scales, he looks fantastic. How do you think he's feeling up there? I mean, he's headlining this big, massive show. As you can see, he's feeling amped up, ready to go. I'm ready to explode all over Jake Paul. You see the size difference on there? Incredible. Jake Paul looks like a scrawny man, and he's built like the whole guinea, so I can't wait. He looks scared to death, and uh, yeah, not long now. Yeah, it looks like Tommy's taking all our pressure in and absorbing it. Like, he looked like he was in his element. He looked like he felt at home. Yeah. Like, how do you think that this is going to like translate into his next couple of fights because is he looking past this fight or is he just looking directly at this fight? 100% not, he's focused on this fight, he has been for the last 12 weeks, treated it like a world championship fight. I've been in camp with him so I know and yeah he's just ready to go out there and do the action. As you can see the pressure ain't getting to him at all, he's thriving off it as you can see so I can't wait. Tommy Fury, Jake Paul, how do you see the fight going? Good. Knockout. Knockout? Knockout. Give me a prediction. On a round. Four. Four. I think we'll take about a round or two for them to both find their feet. And then like the third and fourth one, whoever's going to take control will take control. Tommy's confident, man, and to be fair, Tommy should come out and top and stop him. Yeah, you're seeing Tommy on the scales, then he looks phenomenal. Looks good, looks Confidence good. was there. Yeah. Looks like he's just absorbed this whole atmosphere. Yeah, do you think that that kind of pressure can get to him, or do you think he's fully taken it in? To be fair, it works two ways. Some people are crumbles and other people are mixed. Some people like the bright lights, and you know, like, for me personally, I like when there's cameras and it's like, oh, this is it. Uh, yeah, Do you know yeah. what I mean? And other people look at it and, like, and they shy away from it. So, to be fair, the tunnel looks like he likes it, so it's going to be good. Yes, he's How back. Did you like that in Saudi Arabia? Was it good enough? Oh, amazing. Delicious. <laughs> Beautiful. That's what we want. Yeah. Well. Big time boxing, we want to see excitement, fireworks, action. People were glued to, glued to it. Everything, everything in. It was good. I enjoyed it. That's, what That's exactly it what I wanted. It's exactly what we wanted, and the people will love it. So that concludes the official weigh-in. Both fighters seemed a little bit nervous, but that is to be expected with that amount of adrenaline coursing through their veins. There was a little bit of pushing, a little bit of shoving, a lot of words said. Both fighters guaranteeing us a knockout. Everybody's here. Mike Tyson, Derek Chisora. Tyson Fury was here. It's going to be one hell of a fight this Sunday. And I'm still saying Tommy Fury inside of six by knockout. So it's almost showtime, baby. Let's go. And it's great. Most muscular Josh Denzel's to come into the Olympia stage yeah, 2020. Ooh, how many? Nine. 16 week cut. 2029, the Olympia stage. He'll be. 2029, I'm 50, bro. <laughs> <Mr>. Olympia. <laughs> <laughs>